part of this group again this year. How do you think that position flexibility is going to help you guys overall this season? Uh, you know, I feel like the young guys, Coach Washington and Jock, they've done a great job in getting them ready for, you know, not only preseason, but for the season coming up. Um, I feel like we got a lot of talent in the room, a lot of good mix of young guys, guys that are right in the middle and some older guys. So um, I'm excited to see how the season goes and what we're able to do. Right, prepare yourself. Do you need a lot of reps in preseason games to get yourself prepared, or what do you need to have yourself ready? Um, I mean, I've played for the most part in every preseason game throughout my career. Um, there's been a couple games that I've sat out of, but um, I don't feel like I absolutely need to take a bunch of reps. I'd, I'd like to have some reps in the preseason, but I don't feel that, you know, an overload of reps is necessary. So was that new for you then on Friday night? Like I said, I've, I've sat out maybe one or two games before, but, you know, it's not something that I'm usually doing. Leslie spoke earlier and said that it was based on the work that you've done in practice, why they felt comfortable, like in, in a good way, of course, mm -hmm. meaning that. Um, do you feel like, given the, the time that you had off last year, I know you were here for mini camp, but did you, do you feel like you've hit the ground running and are where you expected to be at this point? Um, I'm not, you know, overly confident and, you know, super happy with it, but I am, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay right now with where I'm at. I feel like these next two, two weeks, two, two, two games, and then, you know, that couple of days, uh, I'll be, I'll be ready to go. So. What are some of the things you're still, I guess, climbing uphill, trying to get back after a, a year off? Yeah, it's tough sitting out a year it's hard i mean playing a year and then you'd have that off season and then come back you can never really be prepared for you can, you can run and you can lift and you can train yourself but you don't really you can't really train yourself for football unless you're playing football so taking a year off from that um you know trying to get my legs back under me as far as running around um you know for those six seven eight seconds all out and then you take a little break and then you know it's it, you can't really simulate football so just getting that opportunity and being back into it you know getting my legs back under me Stuff like that. What about the physicality? Even Josh mentioned he'll do whatever the coaches say, but your body getting a couple hits, at least in the preseason. It yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it helps. You, 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 training camp, we're in full pads most of the time and we're banging, but you know, until you, you get that real rep against someone else who you're actually trying to make a play on and they're trying to, you know, actually real, um, you need that. I think you really you need that in a, before the regular season starts. Is there nerves for you? Before? I mean, you haven't had that yet. Is there maybe more nervous? I'm always nervous before games, so it'll never, I don't think that'll ever change. I, I feel more unrest when I'm not nervous. Is it different this year, though? I mean, maybe she'll be nervous. No. Okay. Do you feel maybe pressure, though, just because you've had last year to kind of heal up? Um, you know, my body definitely feels like I didn't play a whole season, you know, but um, I mean, I feel like once you get into the later years of your career, I don't think you can ever call yourself really fresh. Harrison said he loves having Aaron back. What is it that you provide for him, maybe on the field and off the field, that uh, you guys mesh pretty well? Yeah, um, I mean, in the locker room, me and Harry are right next to each other. Um, we we uh, provide similar things on the field, and uh, we we bounce ideas off of each other. We talk about plays. We talk about sometimes we just talk about uh, you know regular life. So just just having to be there and talk to each other and just enjoy each other's company. That's, I think that's pretty much it. We touched on your weight, mini camp. You said mm -hmm. you were a little under, but nothing too yeah. drastic. Where are you right now? Uh, this morning I was around 309, so about 310. I usually come into the season around, I usually come in lighter, but I wanted to come in you know, heavier to kind of protect myself. I didn't want to come in super light after taking off a year and then get thrown around by all these guys. So, I mean, I came in a little bit heavier than I usually do, but um, I'm around 300. 308, that's usually my playing ways around 308 to 310, maybe 312. So anywhere in there, I'm good. I know it wasn't your position group, but Luke Keekley was here, kind of helping yeah. out with the linebackers. What was it kind of like being around him? Oh, again? it was great to see Luke, man. I love Luke. That's my guy. Um, you know, spent first five years of my career with Luke and his great experience. I feel like he's, you know, hopefully, I, I believe he'll be in the Hall of Fame one day. Um, so having that opportunity to play with like a Hall of Famer behind you, I it's awesome, and then just the kind of person he is. He's a great guy. You know, he was a great leader. What do you oh. think he can teach some of the younger linebackers, like you know Tremaine? Yeah, I think he's a great source for Tremaine, and you know, even Matt. You know, they're both Boston College guys, and um, 
but really anybody in that room can learn so much from Luke. Um, you know, how to be professional, how to be great at his position, you know, technique things. He was such a smart player, how he saw the field, how he saw plays, you know, what he saw. I think they can learn. There's, I think these guys, they're a little spoiled having Luke in there, man. And so I'd take advantage of it if I was anybody in that room. Paul mentioned earlier, Harrison, uh, mentioning how happy he was to have you back. But I feel like it's been every defensive player that sat where you are right now have all commented on the impact that you have and how you make their lives easier to know uh, your teammates are saying that about you and that they're happy to see you happy to to know what you can do for this defense just what's your reaction to how they've sort of embraced having you back yeah it's great man it's great to be back like I said I enjoy being around these guys this is a special group of guys especially on the defensive side where I spend most of my time you know our locker room's a great group of guys um, but on the defense you know, there's, like I said, all around, it's a good mix of younger, middle guys, and then older guys. So, I mean, uh, we spend time together on the field, but also we do stuff together off the field. And it's, you know, I'm not, I'm usually a guy who likes to stay home, but being here, being around these guys, I, you know, I'll get out sometimes and go out and hang out with them, spend some time with, with, with them. And it's, they're just a great group of guys. It's, it's good guys to be around. You know, you want, you want to do your best for guys like that, guys that you like being around, guys that you, you respect and stuff like that. So you want to go out there and play your best for them. As a veteran, what's been your message in regards to the opportunity at hand this season and, and understanding you've been to a Super Bowl and you don't necessarily know how easy or, or if you'll ever get back there, knowing the talent on this team. I know Emmanuel said it and given a message, but, but how do you look at this season in regards to this may be your best shot or, or yeah. one of your last? Yeah, the time is now. I mean, you can never – there's no, in the NFL – there's never a next year, you know, we, we have next year. There's, you can never think like that. So the time is now um, for the young guys that we brought in, you know, we try to get to them, get in the playbook, understand what your role is, understand what your job is. Same thing for everybody on the team, but especially getting everybody on board because, like I said, the time is now. You, you can never say, especially in the NFL, you can never say, you know, we got next year, we got next year. Uh, you never know who you'll bring, who you'll bring in, who's leaving, who's staying, stuff like that. So, um, you know, the time is now.